Okay, so I just got back from seeing the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie English release and this is going to be my quick spoiler free review I'll do another video where we can all have a deep discussion about spoilers things we liked we didn't like But this review is for anyone who is just trying to get a general feel of what to expect from the English release of the movie Before we go any further, let me just get this out of the way right now. Is the movie worth it? Is it worth the price of the movie ticket? Is it worth you getting into your car driving to the theater looking for parking paying Paying for an Uber, using your instant transmission, whatever it is you have to get to the theater, is it worth you doing it to watch this movie? My answer is a resounding yes. I think even if you're not a huge Dragon Ball Super fan, you will still find this movie incredibly entertaining. That said, is the movie perfect? No, it isn't. But can you appreciate it in spite of its imperfection? I think the answer to that is yes. All that aside, let me tell you how I really felt about this movie. The first thing I want to say is that regardless of how good this movie turned out to be I don't think it was possible for it to live up to the amount of hype that was surrounding it seriously with the anime coming to an end almost a year ago with the movie being the only guaranteed thing on the horizon and fans being in full crackhead mode for new Dragon Ball Super story I think that alone put a pretty heavy burden on this movie not to mention that every little tidbit of news release was covered to exhaustion by most Dragon Ball youtubers normally I would say myself included but I'm not taking blame for this one I, I didn't do that Still, with all that weight on its shoulders, I feel like this movie delivered. It gave me the most important aspects of what I wanted, of what I expected. And in some cases, it gave me a little bit more. I'm very happy with myself for not having watched any of the unofficial copies that were floating around the internet before watching this movie. Because I feel like not having proper audio and visuals for this movie will really, really diminish the overall experience. More so than you'll probably realize. So my suggestion to anyone who's already seen this online and had one opinion of it go check it out in the theater if you can watch it in IMAX or better if you can and I suspect that if you already like this movie you're gonna love it even more after that experience if you didn't like it too much online there's a good chance that experience might win you over one thing I was concerned about is how would non Dragon Ball Super fans react to this movie and I think I have positive news for that as well I took my girlfriend to watch the movie with me she has a pretty vague understanding of Dragon Ball Super she's never watched Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball and still she really enjoyed it I think it's the kind of film where you can take someone who maybe isn't very into Dragon Ball Super or anime as a whole and they'll still have a good time they won't hate you for it if nothing else they'll enjoy the action and the comedy and that kind of transitions me into the specific things about this film that I enjoyed I keep calling it a film that's because I'm old just just bear with me all right the comedy in this movie was pretty good like there were moments where I laughed out loud and there were definitely a ton of chuckle moments although there were some pretty serious scenes in the movie overall it felt lighthearted, almost like a one-off. Here's a quick story. We'll see you again real soon kind of thing. I didn't really expect that. I expected a more serious tone, but to be honest, it didn't take away from the movie for me. I enjoyed it for what it was. The next thing I really enjoyed about this movie, and this is a little bit difficult for me to explain, but it felt like it was made by people who really enjoyed what they were doing. There were tons of unique angles, Easter eggs, and little things that you'll notice where you know that if this was being worked on only for a paycheck, that thing would just not have existed in the movie. I don't want to say too much because this is spoiler free and I don't think this is a spoiler at all but there's a line where someone says to Goku were you hit on your head one too many times? Stuff like that that's pretty cool to me. I also personally really like the new Broly. I feel like he's an open canvas at this point. A blank canvas is what I meant to say. The fact that he's now canon and the way he's set up he is positioned to go anywhere. He can be an anti-hero, a hero, or a straight up villain. And so I'm excited to see where that leads. All right, onto the stuff in this movie that I didn't really like that much. Because this was an English dub, I feel as if all the audio from the original Japanese version was gutted and then recreated for the English version. By that I mean not just the voiceovers, but also many of the sound effects and music. There were some great audio clips in this movie, but there were also some areas where I felt like they just pulled some stock cinematic sound off the shelf and stuffed it into the fight. That was a slight turn off for me. The next thing that I didn't really like was that the story felt super short. Outside of the beginning of the movie that happened on Planet Vegeta that we've already seen in Dragon Ball Minus and in the story of Bardock, 
Ragnarok, all of the movie happened in one fight on Earth. It felt almost like one and a half episodes of Dragon Ball Super than it did a full cinematic release. Don't get me wrong, I think it's one and a half really good episodes, but still, I would have liked to see a bit more. Either way, this is coming from someone who spends a lot of time thinking about Dragon Ball Super, probably far more than I should. So if someone else didn't have this complaint, I would completely understand. Another thing that was a little weird to me was they tried something new with parts of the audio, with parts of the hype music. It was this little chanted thing that you'll find out more about when you watch the movie yourself. I thought that was weird. I could respect them for trying something new, but it was a little bit weird. And lastly, the CGI in the movie, although I thought it was cool in the trailers, it felt a bit out of place. Not that I thought it was bad, not that I thought it took away from the movie, it just felt out of place. Anyway, even with all those negatives, if I was asked to rate the movie out of 10, I will give it a solid 8.5. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I am going to go see it again before it's out of theaters. If you're a fan of this channel, I recommend you do the same because I can almost guarantee that you are probably going to enjoy it as well. That's it for me. We'll talk some spoilers in my next video or I may do a live stream. I'm not sure yet. Either way, have you seen Dragon Ball Super Broly yet? If so, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. If you haven't seen it yet, let me know if you're planning to go see it before it's out of theaters. Guys, that's it for me. I hope you all have a great day. I will be talking to you again real soon. Bye. <laughs>